Yo guys, what is up? Welcome back to some more Zero Hour and welcome back to another How to All in Rush um, video. So I haven't made one of these for a very long time. This one is a really good one and interesting probably one for you because today we're going to face um, we're going to face USA or any of the USAs with China. Now the rush that we're going to be going for is a one supply build order and then we're going to be behind that making a helix. You're probably thinking, oh, helix against um, against the USA is just going to laser lock it. But actually what we're going to do with it, combine that with a troop crawler and some uh, and some rocket guys, so like some tank hunters, we're going to control uh, control them really well and we're going to come in with the the helix. The helix is going to have a gatling on it, so we're going to upgrade it um, to a gatling with the hotkey C. And yeah, you know what, without further ado, I'll go in and show you against like a hard army. And then I'm going to show you it working in the real world against um, against one of the players that actually took part in the World Series. Let's build. So, I'm going to press D on the command center for a dozer. We're going to build a power plant as fast as possible. Build on our first dozer that comes out of the CC is important. It has to go to the middle. And the reason is because uh, we need to build the barracks real real fast so we're on tournament desert I'm gonna send that dozer back over here we're gonna go right to the middle and we're gonna build our barracks here you can also build it a little bit further back that's another option which i sometimes do but i also like to build our barracks here so what we're gonna be doing from here is gonna be queuing up five uh, tank hunters we're gonna be getting that upgrade from the command center from the general's promotions even so what i've done that is i've queued up Five tank hunters, drop down an airfield back at the base. I'm gonna drop down a, a war factory here, and then with these guys, so we're against the USA. So there could be an ambulance, there could be a V to pick these off. So you've got to preserve these. Very important to try and preserve all five of these tank hunters. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna queue them up there. Now, if you just waypoint them across like this, there is a chance that a um, an ambulance can just come and run you all over, and a lot of pro players will do that. So what we're gonna do is actually. We're going to get our units together. We're going to queue up a helix. We've got 1500 because the helix is 1500. Hotkey is X. As soon as I've got it, I'm going to press X and look away for a second. Now, really important, the micro here. If a, if a V comes or anything like that, you've got to keep these bunched all together and you've got to micro it super well. You can even just get rid of the troop crawler if you want. And you're going to bunch these guys up and you're going to charge into the enemy base. Now, the problem is here that the red guards actually move a little bit faster than the tank hunters. So one thing you can do is control an F. Which keeps him in formation. Now my helix is ready. I'm actually a little bit slow there. I'm going to upgrade to a Gatling cannon, which the hockey is C. Now there's probably going to be a drone in your base, so it's up to you if you want to go right and then come in, or you just want to go straight across the map. Now with this, you're going to be trying to kill, uh, trying to kill V's. Don't waste time on a command center if he has built one. You want to close down the production as fast as possible. So you probably want to come in with a helix, kill as many V's, and. Um, and rocket guys as possible. Now, what you want is you want him to engage with your army. You do not want him to base trade. You do not want him to uh, do a drop or anything like that. Ideally, you want him to sit in his base and just try and deal, deal with this normally. And then behind this, we're going to queue up a few gats. I'm actually slow there. With the ex any extra money that I've got, I'm just going to be queuing up gats. Nothing else. This is an all-in, remember? So we're not going to be expanding to a um, another supply or anything like that, even though at this point we do have money. I'm going to be queuing up gats because this is an all in. If this works, we win the game. If it doesn't work, then we're going to lose the game. So again, this is obviously against the hard AI, so it's very, very different to facing a human player. But what you want him to do here is you want to you want to close down the war factory and you want to close down the the um, the barracks. They're the first two things you want to kill. Obviously, a power if it's right there, you probably can kill the power as well. Keep queuing up gats behind us. By the way, there was a little break there for me. So it, what he's probably going to try and do, if he, if he does get to this situation and you kill all of his Vs and all of his missile defenders, then what you want to do is try to pick off his dozers that are going to be running around and escaping or any Vs that are going to be around and escaping. And the other thing is, so let's say, let's pretend for a second that this gat here is a V. I'm just going to ignore that, obviously. Keep queuing up gats, by the way. Send them to the middle. So yeah, any dozers that are trying to escape or any Vs that are trying to escape, you want to try and pick them off. Your Helix is your fastest unit and can usually pick them off. But what what is a possibility is that the V will evac um, like up to five missile defenders. Chances are three or four, something like that. And as soon as they evac, they're going to be out of the they're going to be out of the V like that, and you're going to have to manually target them. You don't want the Gatlex like to be attacking this this V back here or or this. Let's say this is a V. You don't want to be attacking that V unless he has the tow missile upgrade. 
What you want to be doing is killing the laser lock. You want to be killing the missile defenders that are going to be laser locking your unit. So let's pretend this V here has evac and these guys here are all missile defenders. You want to be you want to be manually selecting them and killing them all as fast as possible. And you want to be 100% focus. What I see some people do when they do this build with it is they will um, they will send the units in and they won't micro um, their tank hunters and their red guard perfectly. You want to forget about what's going on back in your base. Maybe you want to move your dozer out of the way just in case he does send a V or something. You want to forget what's going on here. And really, your 90% your of your focus wants to be on this helix and your uh, red guard and tank hunters. And then the third priority probably going to be the, probably going to be microing the gats. So you want to close down all of the units and the production and kill the dozers. And that's what exactly what you want to do. So the way USA might want to deal with this is he might want to do a no eco and he might want to avoid fighting this altogether. And he might want to go around one of the sides and go and base trade. He might also fly a dozer over as well and just completely base trade. Then that puts him in a quite a decent position. Because uh, what he doesn't want to do is he doesn't want to fight this. He doesn't want to fight the tank hunters. He doesn't want to fight the red guard. That's probably not recommended. It is possible with the correct micro. It depends on the micro of both players and the decision making of where the units go. And how fast the laser locks are and how fast he gets um, to a missile upgrade and stuff like that. It is possible to hold. It all comes down to the micro of, uh, of the players. But it's basically an all-in build order that will get you a, a few wins here and there. I do not recommend you do it every game. Probably like one in every 100 or one in every 200 games that you play or something like that. Or, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking in general. But, I mean, maybe in China, USA, you probably want to do it. I don't know, one in every 20 games, something like that, if you're just talking about China and China and USA. So yeah, that's the, that's the build order. Obviously, after that, you want to kill the CC. The reason I didn't kill the CC first there is because the CC is useless. Yeah, it can make dozers, but the dozer's not going to be able to do anything against against this anyway. Not going to be able to escape and build a new base in time. The only thing he could do, I suppose, is place down a scaffold somewhere and protect that and just use his fees and win just by a scaffold if you have dozer under him. So yeah, um, killing the units, killing the war factory, killing the barracks, uh, killing the power, killing the dozers. Kill everything, basically. Kill everything. I'm now going to show you a replay from the live stream highlights. So you'll hear me uh, talking from the live stream against a player called Ruick. He played uh, in the World Series. I can't remember what round he got through to. I think it was like round two or three, and he eventually got knocked out by DK Crazy. But still a very good player, and he actually gave DK Crazy a very hard time in the first in the first game. So I'll show you how this works against him. GG. Enjoy it, and remember to like the video if you if you um, if you enjoy these kind of guides. So uh, yeah, see you later. <clears throat> USA China um, I think I'm gonna all in rush this guy this is literally a um, Super all in. China has been We're gonna do one, one supply. Um, That's a good he helix over here. This is gonna be a troop crawler and five uh, tank hunters. Just rush, um, and then don't make a second supply. Just don't ever make that. Don't make the second supply. You have to build this one a bit weird here. If, you, if you're trying to play safe, I would recommend probably not do this. If you want to play it safe, but sometimes this can catch people off guard during the, uh, the helix. What I want to be careful of is an ambulance here. Because that can still screw you up. You always want to get the veterancy on the red guard as well. I'm going to hockey in my airfield, so as soon as it's ready, I can just press... Uh, here comes the ambulance that I told you about. Okay, Helix is on the way, and then behind this is going to make Gats. I want to save up 1,200 there for the, um... If I did he's just staying in his base, is only good for me. want to 100% just pay attention to this, what I'm doing here. Yeah, I think he's lost. And then behind this is make gats. 
I should add this to my uh, all in series. <laughs> super, super strong. <laughs> super, super strong all in if you, if you want to uh, grab an occasional game every now and then. Super all in rush. Yeah, GG.